Good morning. Well, it appears the great Brexit betrayal has finally taken place. Now, let's hope that there are enough people in Theresa May's cabinet who will put country before career. Because anyone that's in that cabinet that supports this deal, your career's over anyway. Because you will be responsible for the biggest betrayal that this country has possibly ever seen. Theresa May goes down in history, or will go down in history, as the worst Prime Minister that the UK has ever had. That's saying something when you think about Neville Chamberlain, when you think about Tony Blair, when you think about Gordon Brown and John Major. Worse than any of those Prime Ministers. Because she has betrayed democracy. She hasn't just betrayed the country. She's betrayed the entire democratic process. She's betrayed the votes of 17.4 million people. In fact, she's betrayed everybody that voted in that referendum. Because whether you voted leave or remain, you believed that the outcome would be binding on the British government. And what Theresa May has done, she's negotiated a deal that leaves us with less power, less influence, less clout than we had before the referendum. And she's done it cynically. She's done it deliberately. If not, she's completely inept and she shouldn't be Prime Minister anyway. So let's hope there's a mass rebellion in the Conservative Party. That the little public school boys that run our country finally grow a backbone and stand up for democracy and stand up for what the people told them to do during the referendum. Whatever happens, I believe there'll be a general election. Theresa May cannot, cannot go on like this. She has to go. And if Theresa May goes, that is the Brexiteers' opportunity. That is the opportunity of the 17.4 million people that have been betrayed, not just by the Conservative Party, but by the Liberal Democrats, who are completely irrelevant anyway, by the Scottish Nationalist Party, by the Socialist Parties in Northern Ireland and the Republicans, and of course by the treacherous, treasonous Labour Party. If there's a general election, we need to identify seats that voted in large numbers to leave the United Kingdom and that have Remain MPs. And we need to target them, whether it's with UKIP or genuine Brexiteer Conservatives or genuine Brexiteer Labour politicians. Those seats need to be targeted aggressively and scientifically. And we need to make sure that we get, that we get a majority of MPs in the House that will do the will of the people. Our very nation's future is at stake here. The European project is on this ever-expanding spiral. Monetary union, closer monetary union, banking union, currency union, military union. A European army. Well, I'm sorry, but I look at the history of France and Germany and I don't trust those people running a European army and of course they're the biggest partners they're the Germany bankrolls the project France will probably provide the, ma the majority of the manpower if we're not involved in it I don't want my sons or my grandson my son or my grandson being drafted into a European army whose purpose will be not to defend Europe but to hold back and to oppress the people of Europe See, people think Brexiteers are against the European people. We're not. We are Europeans. But we believe in sovereign states within Europe. And we want to stand with all our European friends and neighbours who know what the European Union is. See that it's going down the road of totalitarianism and tyranny. And we must resist it. The first Star Wars movie... 
you had the Empire. And you had the Rebel Alliance and the Rebel Alliance were the good guys. I want to tell you something. We are the Rebel Alliance. We are the good guys. We are the ones that are fighting for the future of Europe. Not those technocrats, bureaucrats and arrogant elitists who hate democracy and who hate the people. They hate the working classes. We are the people who can change this country. So when this election comes, we've got to stand and we've got to make sure. And if you're in a, if you're in a constituency and there is no leave candidate, get a UKIP candidate in there. Get them to stand for you. And if you can't find a UKIP one, stand yourself as an independent. But we've got to face down this totalitarian state that is the European Union and we've got to face down our treacherous politicians. I am sickened by the sight of that European flag flown by traitors in the city of London. I'm sickened by it. And if you go on one of those Remain marches, you should be ashamed of yourself and you should hang your head in shame with your silly little badger saying bollocks to Brexit, bollocks to you. It's an absolute disgrace. We voted to be free and we will be free and we're going to fight for our freedom until we get it.